Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums, tis I, Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, this is a cup of coffee with Captain Steve, mm, and a cup of tea. So that's actually a flat white, may as well be tea. Not too much caffeine in this, but it's bloody lovely. Now, I've seen a game trailer. It's for a game called Planetaries. Yeah, a little bit like Visionaries. I just love freaking Visionaries. But yeah, Planetaries. And it's got a No Man's Sky-esque vibe vibe to it anyway i want to hit it up and share it with you and tell you what i think of it because it has piqued my interest i don't know for the right or wrong reasons though so yeah i'd like to hear your comments on it too people okay so this is it now i'm not going to bother muting it i will talk over it a little but yeah let's have a look so it looks like they've done some sort of scan there it's got the same sort of waypoints the planets look super freaking vegetated, don't they? I mean, look how dense the foliage is. The jetpacks and the cloaks. It all feels and looks like No Man's Sky. And it's got base building. That looks very No Man's Sky-esque. The mining as well. Looks like some sort of multi-tool that we have. And it turns into a light sword, like light sabers. And look at the creatures. That looked like something out of Stranger Things. I like the character animation there, how he was flailing in the air. Looked quite lifelike, didn't it? And the alien creatures on the planets look quite good. And the biomes look quite diverse. I mean, that one looks fairly barren and empty there, but you can see lots of mountains and, and all sorts in the background. Are these going to be my multi biomed planets or are we going to be going to different alien wells? Are we going to be airdropped like in Helldivers or will we have our own ships? Oh, look, there's all defense turrets there and shields and all sorts going on. It looks like it might have multiplayer. It looks like it's got aerial vehicles. It looks like bases can get quite complex. It does look quite cool. I mean, it's got giant fauna in that you have to attack. It looks good, but it looks very floaty in places. But at the same time, it, it looks good. You know? Anyway, I'm going to... I'm going to just mute that now, and I'm just going to rewind that. Pow! And... Oh, one second. Okay, chance. So what do I think? Yeah, I've slowed it down so it lasts longer. It's only a two-minute trailer, and I probably would talk for five. You know, so anyway, I've got myself this lovely cup of... Well, cup of coffee. But I really do like the look of this. I mean... It looks like it might need a little bit more polish. It might look like it needs a bit more work. It looks like it's just straight out of the freaking gate or out of the oven. But then, do you remember what No Man's Sky looked like when that first came out of the oven? It depends how much love and how much interest this developer wants to put into this game. And to be honest, I don't know enough about the developer and I haven't done my homework to know what other titles they've done or delivered that make me go yes or no. I mean, I did have a very quick look. I did have a quick little butchers just to see if this was real or whether it might be one of those games that's out there to scam people out of money. But no, they have actually brought other titles into iteration and got them out there and they are working titles and they do seem to be having okay-ish reviews so you know what this one is definitely going on my radar of games to watch because it looks like no man's sky with a heck of a lot more combat thrown in and base defense and things like that things that might be pretty good as workable ideas even if i bring this to my channel and i play it in the background there might be ideas in this that i can use for ideas videos for no man's sky videos depending on how this progresses i love the idea of having multi-swords like lightsabers i used to watch um, a tv show when i was a kid called ulysses 31 and that multi-tool it could fire laser bolts or you could press a button and a laser sword would come out the top of it similar to this I, I really like the look of that, especially imagine if that laser swords came into No Man's Sky and you, you've got it in VR. That'd be freaking awesome fun. But yeah, this looks great. This looks this looks OK. Well, I, I keep saying it looks great. It looks OK. What do, what what's my feelings on it? 
Um, like I was saying earlier, it feels a little bit floaty. It doesn't look like it's 100% there when it comes to like a AAA sort of title or anything like that. Think Power World. When I first saw Power World, I was like, this can't be real. This can't be... It really, seriously, someone's gonna made the game that does everything, like Pokemon with guns, all that. It was great. I enjoyed it for like the first month it was out. It was very gimmicky. I'm wondering whether this is gonna be similar, whether it's gonna really pull people's attention because I think it's gonna, I think people that like Halo are gonna like this. I think people that like Helldivers are probably gonna like this. I think people that like No Man's Sky are probably gonna be like this for at least the first month. But it depends on how much longevity is there and how much replayability is there and what the gameplay loop is like and what it actually feels like to play. And then we'd know after the first month whether it's going to retain players, whether people are going to keep coming back to it. Right now, I don't think we can tell any of that from this very simple trailer. I mean, what is the premise? Why are you on these planets? Why are we doing what we're doing? Now, looking at this footage slowed down, I saw massive dropships above this base. I saw all sorts going on above this base. I have saw a flamethrower coming out of his wrist as well, or whatever. It looked very sort of Mandalorian-esque. There's a lot of things I've spotted slowing this footage down that I didn't notice when it was going fast. I think this is definitely worth putting on your radar. If you're a fan of the, the Halo franchise, the No Man's Sky franchise, Helldivers, you know, because I, I can see elements of all of those games in this. So it looks like there's resource gathering and base building, which is pretty cool. It's like in the background there, there's a guy fighting against a creature now. He just done a roll to dodge, which, you know, that's pretty darn freaking epic. And the actual armor that they're wearing is reflective. It actually looks pretty darn cool. You know what? I might have to do a deep dive in slow motion into this, this this game. In fact, I could do it now, couldn't I? I could just rewind it and jump back over and show you all these things that I'm talking about. Yeah, let, let, let's do that quickly. So if I jump back over to here, and if I just slow this down a bit, there you go. I'd, I'd go back. I go back to where I saw the flamethrower and the light swords and stuff. So here we go. He's running down a freaking giant samurai sword. That's look really took him out at the knees and look at the physics on the cape yeah it's all glitching through but this is the sort of thing that i mean with the polish and stuff it doesn't feel like it's quite there yet but i really like the particle effects on collision there pretty darn nice and that thing's called a zoltar <laughs> wasn't that the machine in big that makes him go back to being a kid or an adult or whatever zoltar or oh, that was sultan wasn't it i don't know but anyway look at the creatures on this I mean, they're, they're bug-like creatures. And there you go, there's the flamethrower that I was on about. Skrow! Take that, barbecued bugs! Pretty darn epic. And look, there's like a crocodile creature there, not just a bug. And that appears to be another player, I think. That's another player there, but then again, it had a red energy bar. But you can see there that it's attacking a creature. So I think it might have multiplayer. And look at it, he's got like a double dual blade there. There's the ships above, look. Look at the massive drop ship above the base. It's freaking huge. So I don't know whether we're gonna get capital ships like No Man's Sky or whether there's a drop ship that drops you on each of these planets and you gotta build a little mini homestead. But to what point? I mean, you can see there, there was a load of things that were processing. So do you have to grow your own resources? This looks like he's putting up some sort of shield barrier around the base which looks pretty darn cool. And there's also defense turrets later on that you see. There's a lot inside of this trailer when you slow it down, people. And there's also, you can see all the reflections on the water there. Look, he's got armor, which is quite reflective too. But look, the bad guy in the background doing a, a combat roll to dodge the actual creature. I think there's quite a lot to this game, people. I think when you slow it down and look at it more, you're gonna notice more. I mean, <sighs> I think because we're used to seeing all these high octane, high action sort of trailers, we kind of gloss over a lot of it now. We're like, oh, it's one of these, it's one of these games, it's one of these games that's going to drop, it's going to end up being live services and it's going to be a waste of my time. I don't know whether that's going to be the case, but then again, you know, I, I started getting quite sort of, you know, excited for that other game that was coming out a little while ago that that had everybody sort of attention gripped in a sort of similar way sorry there people I had to go grab my mobile phone and google what its name was it was called concord so we saw a game trailer for that and it was all in the cockpit it looked very much like star starfield comes out and it was a live services game and a pretty pants one at that 
this one, this one, it it has got elements to me that makes me think this looks like hell divers but then there's other bits of like some janky animation like that big frog creature just launched into the sky there that was a bit weird but these planets almost look procedural in a roundabout way so i'm i'm kind of i'm very much excited for this to be honest just 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 to see more just to understand more and to see a little bit more i mean some of it looks a bit bland some of it looks a little bit low quality like some of these textures on some of the rocks and things like that but like i say it just needs a little bit more polish and depending on the studio if it gets that polish this could be this could be something well worth having on the freaking radar now it's on mine anyway i'm adding it to my radar officially right now i'm gonna add it to my watch list if i can find it and uh yeah i'll, I'll be um, bringing a few news updates on this one i think to my channel and if there's any more trailers i'll be covering them off in a similar sort of style and uh, yeah, this is now on my radar because you know what? The actual armors on these guys look a little bit Warframey like, a little bit maybe Giver esque in places. It has piqued my interest, people. Yeah, let's, let's leave it at that. Anyway, I'm going to go and drink the rest of my flat coffee, and flat white coffee. That's lovely. You know what? Please sound off in the comments. Let me know. Is this going on your radar? Is this something that you're going to be watching? Planetaries! Yeah, the official early access announcement trailer. Oh, early access, you say? I'm going to go and email them. Ask if I can get into early access. Being, you know, a yeah, bit of a content creator. Yeah, hopefully. Wish me luck. Until next time, people. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. But um, to crowd.